what's up everybody welcome back to another video and today's we're back in jump trash this is part two to this to this series i guess so i think today i just want to start off by opening up my the two chests that would be it <laughs> oh okay i guess they'll help me in some okay big chest come on 24 hour daily chest okay 100 orbs 10 gems and green shard i guess okay we got good so as you can see though why the red woman mouse pointer is, you can see I finally made my own account. I have an account now so I can do, I can load data, I can do a lot of stuff. Oh, I have nine, I have 28 stars and 98 gems. But I thought, I thought it was just a lot of 98 and I have 28 stars, I'm not good. I'm not very not good. I've played zero demons, I have 98 ge diamonds, seven coins and one user created coin i'm not good i don't well, i don't really play the the thing is only reason i have one user created coin is because i played a level and i got a coin for it but really don't expect me to play user created levels on camera until i can play the most latest the, the last level so far finger dash and, and 2.2 comes up before then for example i would have to do all the 2.2 levels that come out including anything that also comes out on the side that's made by rod top i would not get to play creative levels until i do everything that's made by every rod top creative level so just doing that so just starting that out there we are 95 percent there someone did it for me someone did 95 percent i did 77 so yeah, so I think I just want to do some practice before I do Can't Let Go. I think I want to do some practice with the level coming up, Jumper. I really hate the song for Jumper. It just sounds so weird to me. It just doesn't sound right. And I don't really like the level because there's a lot of... There's a lot of falling in the levels called Jumper. Shouldn't there be more jumping than there's than there's falling? Like, you see, it's, like, it's a lot of falling. If it does introduce the Upside Down Ship, which I'm horrible act because I barely just look at this I, 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 I get confused with that let's just try time machine I really don't like time machine I don't jumper and time machine are my least favorite levels this has too many triple spikes because I'm very bad at triple spikes I usually get lucky with triple spikes beat my record in that one. Okay, so let's go back to Can't Let Go. I'm very tired of this level, actually. It's just a... Bro, I once did this cool thing. I want to do it again. Hold on. Dang it. I, I did it, like, so many times and I can't do it here. It, it's like, it just... serious are you serious i hate this level i mean come on it's the sixth level and you put so much pressure on me already for this i think it like lasts like three weeks i'm probably not gonna complete this on camera i'm definitely not completing this on oh uh, yep there it goes yep 29 percent I usually jump, I jumped and I didn't jump. It did. Jeez. I really do not. Okay, I'm really tired of this level. I'm tired of this level. I am extremely tired of this level. Come on, I want to with this. I get some. I, I have to get a friend to complete this. Oh my god! I have to get a friend. I got. I gotta get a friend to complete this. Room. I can't do it myself. I, 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 X steps already completed for me. Cause someone did it for my phone. I didn't realize. I accidentally loaded my data on my computer. So now I just hit count. I'm not, I'm not gonna even do X step. Cause I, if it's completed, I only count. I, I may seem like a phone now. I may seem like like a person who did do the levels, but actually, I kind of did. I did serial madness to base after base on my own, so I guess I can't be considered a fraud. 
because I did those on my own. So I, I can't because I'm a fraud. So people who think I'm a fraud, I can't because I already completed. Someone completed one level of me because they're a fraud. I can't be a fraud because I I completed five. And now and he just wanted to complete it for me, and he didn't have a phone at all, so he just completed it accidentally. Well, he said he wanted to, but and he did, and I, and I never completed it, so that means it just counts. I don't really care if it's not done by me. As long as it's completed, I'm fine, because I do kind of want to get to the future creative levels, because I'm tired of playing these levels, because they're just... <sighs> I'm literally going to slap my, my monitor on the ground and crack it. If I'm stuck on this level until 2.3, I mean, I'm going to be flipped this out. I, if I'm going to be stuck on this level until 2.2, .2, I'm going to flip out. Because that is, that's going to be bad. That's trash. Luck. But, I just want to start a common starter, though. Because, since 2.0, 2.0 update, we have had a spin-off game with data features, for example. 2.0 was John Trash Meltdown, 2.1 was John Trash World, and 2.2, which is expected to release on August 13th, is John Trash Subsurfer. So, what does it mean? That would probably be a name for a 2.3 game features. Honestly, also, I don't. I also think Rock's actually to update every year because Minecraft's update apparently someone told me it was coming on on June 7th. That, that seems I think I think if Rod Top would go to the, the Minecraft when release an update a year. Or like around a year. It would be a very better game running because not every game because like for example Fortnite really, like releases an update every Tuesday, you don't need to update every week. And some games you can release every up, at least an update every day. Like in the beginning of the game it was a little like dull, so he just had to release updates. I feel like he started like slowing down, and now it's been six years since the most latest update. That I think if he run, if he if releases a game like an update, um, once a year, he could probably get the, the game consistently running. Like Minecraft is this successful, and it only releases an update once a year. Like most games, like the beginning of their start update, like like constant. Like, Minecraft did too! I gotta say that, Minecraft did update it, like, constantly. Same with Geometry, yeah. Geometry has updated, like, every month. Like, Minecraft apparently added, like, a new block every week or something. I don't know. Comment down below if that's true. But, um... So now this game has six years since its latest update. I think if Rod Top, the game creator, were to release an update a year, it would just work a lot better. The game may even become popular than it was now. Like, at one point, the game did blow up, but now it just didn't. Like, it's been so dull, because in two, I think it was, like, 1.9 the game blew up. 1.9 to 2.0 it blew up, but I feel like the game if updates consistently. The game can make big. It can make big money. But also, I think Rod Top shouldn't focus on one singular game. Like, he can make another game. I'm understanding he made John, like, people, like, three other games, which is also Geometry Dash. So, when I say three other games, I mean they're Geometry Dash, like, they're Geometry Dash Meltdown, Light, World, and Sub-Zero. That's the only other games, and then full, and the full version of Geometry Dash. I think he could release another game, like, not even related, it could be, like, a completely out of the ordinary game. And, I think Rod Top could make big money, but, I feel like, though, it would also lower down update times as well. I think... Like Minecraft, one year, like maybe like around one year of distance, you get the game running consistently. But I think it's an awesome idea, and I think Rod Top should focus on that. But once again, the game is what it, it is, what it is and six years is very long, and I only started playing like six months ago, and that was on like a, on like a big web version. Like, first it looks real, but then I, and I started playing it, looks still looked real and identical, but then looking at it, and compared to what Geometry Dash looks like, it looks like a piece of paper. I'm just give you, you're controlling a piece of paper. If you think of it like that way, but that doesn't really work out. So, and then I got Geometry Dash Light, and then I was stuck on the Stereo Madness, and it's Frank and Now Then I was stuck on back on track for ages, dealing with ass, not dealing with ass. It's like, finally, once in my honest, I tried to please have Geometry Dash full version. This is what you did yesterday. 
finished. I got a one two dollar game. I already had the three dollar off from on my computer, and now I have it on my phone. And I uninstalled Challenge Rush Lite on the first day. I completed Serial Madness at full like four like ten attempts or like two attempts or something. It was something very low. We're at the ship part, I wanna focus up a little bit. I wanna get I wanna beat here. I wanna beat this game. What was that? I clicked! I clicked! And it didn't go up! Every time I click when I'm supposed to click, it just doesn't work. It's like the game's like bro. Yeah, come on! Like I'm I'm giving you like a nice hearing of my click, so how many of all of you are here? I click and it doesn't jump. Or it's just fault. Like, that was fault because there's barely any room for me to jump, and I'm like, on oh, crazy because I, I, it's like a lot of memory that goes into that, too. And a lot of game physics. Like, why is with the game physics? Like, not everyone is there to study game physics for two hours to know when to jump. Like, one level is telling about the physics and that other people. Okay, come on. studying game physics not everyone wants to study game physics like you put a lot of needing to study game physics for on top and you got like not put everything to study game physics because I'm not studying game physics I'm excited for platform mode I see my I feel like actually I'm not excited for yeah, I'm not excited for platform mode. I feel like platform mode's a little like hyped up, but then it's not gonna be. Because one reason I think this is because the, the thing about geometry is just like it's not gonna be the same when you have to click a button to move your character. I feel like it feels a lot better when you just click and the character's moving already. But I guess we'll give time for people to practice it. But the thing, don't think it's gonna help every other level that you have trouble. Don't think it's gonna help you on an extreme demon. Or a uh, broad top level because it's only going to be on certain levels or a user created level that's not made with platform mode on it. It doesn't mean you can do platform mode on can't let go and I can easily just complete the game in like two seconds. No, it's going to be, it's going to, it's complicated. And even if there's checkpoints in the game for platform mode, it doesn't mean anything. You're not going to have checkpoints in a normal mode in all the regular levels on extreme games. It has depends on the creator. It depends on the creator's intentions. Put checkpoints, he cannot put checkpoints, he can put platform mode, he cannot put platform mode. It depends on his idea. I mean like I like levels that are like kind of like like moving into moving the character. That's really gonna just factor speed portals. I guess it will still have speed portals, because speed portals I guess you can technically Oh ah! I guess you can technically Okay, I'm done with this stuff. Bye! Have a nice day. Bye.